In this video, I want to share with you some spring 2023 trends that I think would be kind of fun to try to kind of inject into your closet if they speak to you. You know how 80% of your closet is, of course, classics and basics and the things that pull everything together. And then you got your 20% over here that's like the fun little items, the little ones that you get excited about to add to those other items to make new outfits. You actually may own some of these already. You may just need to style them in a different way. Anyway, let's get started. Now, let me just preface this real quick saying you're not gonna like all of these. You're not gonna be like sold on every single one, <laughs> but they're just suggestions um, and maybe some ideas for you as basically my whole channel is. It's ideas. It's not me telling you to do anything. It, these are ideas that you can take it or leave it. Okay, the first trend that I can't even believe I'm mentioning this, but I guess I just, I kind of started liking it and it's, I have another one in here. I actually can't believe it's in here, but um, the first trend that you might want to check out is a wide leg. Not for me, me personally, it would not be like the low rise baggy jean. That's a huge trend right now. And I'm not talking about that unless you love that. But what I have found that I actually really like are these, you know, I like high waisted. So it'd be a high waisted wide leg, or maybe it's a mid rise for you, but a wide leg jean. I love it with like the tighter tops, like a fitted tank top. I feel like this is a great jean for spring because you can pair it with some of those little itsy bitsy tops that can keep you really cool in the springtime if it gets really hot where you are, like it does it here. But it still looks, you know, kind of more like a stylish outfit with the wide leg. I think wide leg looks great with like a block heel. Um, I mean, really, people get really weird about what to put, what shoes to put with a wide leg. I just, I really like something chunkier on the, on your foot, not chunky. It doesn't have to be like a platform, although it can be, but I really just like like a block heel, something with a little bit of chunk to it. I'm not so crazy about like a kitten heel with a wide leg, but that's just me personally. I will link the wide leg jeans that I have below. So since the recording of this video, I actually was playing around in my clothes with my two pair of wide leg jeans. And I think I do like it with just my, all my other tops. I really haven't found a lot of tops I don't like it with. Like I like just my voluminous tops as long as I have it tucked in. This is a totally different look for me personally. And it's taken me a long time to come around to a wide leg jean, but I, you know, it's just taking a lot of play around in my clothes, but I do actually really like it. I'm really kind of feeling this. Just It just feels like new and fresh to me. So that's kind of where my head's at now. So it is an interesting item to have in your closet. Another trend that's happening this year in 2023, which I think it's, I think it's a fun one. And I, I like that it's a trend. It's like ruffles and bows and lace and like the girly, like feminine details on items. The reason why I like this is because whenever you're talking about wearing basics, a lot of times they look a little more elevated when they have some kind of special detailing on them. Like this white top I've mentioned in another video. It's a very basic top, but it has these small little details like these little buttons that are on the V-neck and it just looks a little bit more special. This tank top that I recently purchased from Anthropology, it has these bows on the shoulder. This might be a lot for somebody, but I feel like for a tank top, there's really not a whole lot you can do to make it look special. <laughs> so I feel like the bows on it kind of just add a little something. It's, you know, this is bra friendly. So it just, it adds a little something to it to make it not quite so casual. I really like these like roughly tops and um, I've talked about this on other videos and these lace tops and ruffles and bows and things paired with more structured bottoms, like a tailored short or a tailored pant, even a pencil skirt. The trend has gone away from, you know, ruffles on top, ruffles on bottom, and kind of more to balancing it out with something more structured. And I really love that look. This is also one that doesn't really go out of style. Like it's basically a look. It's a look in a specific style that you either like it or you don't. A lot of the trend revolving around ruffles and bows and lace has more to do with how you're styling it with your other things in your outfit rather than um, the actual item itself. Denim on denim. It has been wanting to come back as a, an actual trend that people embrace for a while and it ke has kept on trying, but I think 2023 is the year where it's, it's gonna stick. 
and I, I really like it sometimes. I don't like all denim on denim and you probably don't either, but I do like it in some cases. I do feel like it can look really stylish and intentional. I think people get hung up on the denims having to match and they definitely do not. Of course, this is personal preference. If it bothers you that you're the two denims are not exactly the same, um, maybe denim on <laughs> denim might be too stressful for you. Maybe do some other trend. You could also try denim with like cream denim or try a blue denim with a blue black denim. I really love the light wash denim paired with a dark wash denim. I love this denim top that I'm wearing. I have it in white as well, but it's just so soft and easy. And I feel like it just looks great with a lot of my jeans. I'll show you what it looks like with the different washes, but this can be a fun one. If you're not sure about this, but you're just kind of have the feeling you want to try it, just play around within your closet, see how you feel. Maybe like walk out to your mailbox in denim on denim, see what happens. <laughs> Maybe you're like, okay, I think I like this. And you might then wear it to the grocery store and then you might like that. And then you'll wear it to lunch with somebody and someone's like, oh my God, I love your outfit. And then you're a denim on denim person and you're sold on the denim on denim look. It could happen, you never know. This is another trend that I can't even believe I'm mentioning or suggesting it. But a lot of times when trends begin to start rolling into our worlds, they may not be something very wearable, but then as a lot of more stores start to produce them and um, you know different brands start to produce them, they do become very wearable and lots of options are out there. And then a trend that we didn't initially really like that much, we kind of start to like, and that's kind of what happened with this one and it's cargo pants. I even mentioned in a video, I don't remember which one it was, how I did not like cargo pants and I would not be caught dead wearing cargo pants. I don't think I said that, but it was something along those lines. Like, I don't really want to wear that trend. But I've kind of changed my mind a little bit. I don't like all cargo pants and I do still think they are a, can be a very casual look, which is fine, but I do kind of like them a little bit. They kind of like the, the utility look the utility pockets, it kind of adds something a little interesting to a basic pair of pants. There's not a ton you can do to pants to really, you know, jazz them up a little bit. So it's kind of an interesting look. And I like them paired with less casual items. Like I like it with like a little bit of a block heel or like a blouse or some kind of cute top. Like the other pieces be a little more elevated. So it looks kind of more like a stylish outfit rather than a super casual outfit. Let me know what you think. Do you like cargo pants? I know whenever I had said that in a video a long time ago, a lot of you guys were like, I love cargo pants. I can't wait for this. This is gonna be amazing. So let me know what you think about cargo pants and if you have been wearing them, are you? what are you wearing them with? Um, I always love to know how you're styling things. This next one is a fun one and I think you just have to find the right piece that you really like for it to really resonate with you, but it's shine for the daytime or nighttime. But you know, we normally reserve shiny things for a special event or a cocktail party or, or like going to the club, getting bottle service. And um, you know, that's how I spend my Saturday nights. Um, champagne bottles at the club, y'all. But we don't really think about it, wearing it on a Tuesday to go meet your friends for an early dinner, do you? But metallics are a big trend this year and they're one that have kind of kind of taken off a little bit. So we've seen a lot of metallic pants and I do think these are definitely have to be your personal preference, but there's just a lot of items out there that have a more shiny fabric, a more interesting metallic fabric that I kind of like, I think they're kind of special. I think they're kind of special in the way that you can just pair them with something really basic and it looked like a cool outfit. I love this high neck top that I found from Anthropology. It pairs it really nicely with a pair of jeans, which I love, but I feel like it makes the whole outfit look very elevated, but I'm not really doing a whole lot. I actually love this more for like a date night outfit. I can't really see myself wearing this to pick up my kid at daycare, but I do like the idea of, of normalizing shiny metallics for daytime. I guess for me and probably for you, it would be more like, instead of thinking this is only to wear on a trip to Las Vegas with your girlfriends, it would be, you know, you wear it on Friday night to go out with your husband or your boyfriend or your friends or something. It doesn't have to be such a special lavish event. 
I actually decided to stick this top with the cargo pants just for fun because I was playing around in my clothes and I'm not sure I will actually wear this, but I, it's not bad, you know? It's just not bad. This is your sign. You need to go play around in your clothes or go to a store and play around in their clothes. You get a lot of so ideas. Those were some trends that I find pretty interesting and I think they're kind of fun for spring. They can be very wearable. Um, I think, you know, you just, if anything jumps out at you, I will link some things below that either I'm wearing or I featured in the video. Um, but you know, they're just kind of fun. Sometimes it's fun to add one of these items to your closet to create more outfits with the clothes you already have. Um, I don't never suggest running out and buying all the trends if you're at a style rut, because you usually probably have to start somewhere else first, clean out your closet first. But you know, these are kind of fun. Let me know which ones you like or don't like or you've already tried or you have been loving. You might wanna watch this video if you love looking at trend videos. I will link some other videos below in the description box that talk about spring trends and 2023 trends that you might be interested in. And I will see you next time.